like shit right now. Um, my hair is my hair is a shit show. I fell asleep with it wet last night, and these bangs are like not it for me right now. But I figured I would just vlog. I meant to start this vlog yesterday, and I went to the montage, which actually is now the Mayborn. My boyfriend got a haircut, and I was gonna vlog, but they had like the loudest music blaring outside where I was getting coffee and doing work. And then yesterday I was just packing all day. So yeah, here we are today. I have some errands to run today. I don't know how many days I'll vlog. I guess it just depends how much content I get for you guys. But you guys have been asking me for vlogs and I figured I would actually attempt. It's just been really hard because like I'm living with my boyfriend's mom right now because our place is um, about to be under construction. Um, or it has been under construction kind of, but they fully will start next week. So we've been living here for three months. So it's just been kind of like difficult to vlog because like me and my boyfriend are actually like stuck together <laughs> like 24 seven. Like we don't really go as much anywhere because we're so much further from the city. Um, and I'm either like with his mom. So we'll just see what this vlog ends up being. I can't take myself seriously though with these bangs. It's like I asked for face framing bangs and then he cut them and I was like, can you go shorter? Like I needed something different and now I don't know what to do with myself because I like to put my hair back and the bangs don't stay back. So it's like, it's really something. So anyways, um, I have to just finish a few more emails but I got my Starbucks. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. I changed and I got a little bit more done. I'm going to my mom's house right now because she's out of town. But her housekeeper's there and has my spare key, so I have to go pick up her spare key. In case you were wondering, I live in horse country. <laughs> and then my boyfriend's mom is on her way home right now, and she and I are gonna go to hardware faucet store. But we have to go pick out a faucet for the kitchen sink and then for the i'm gonna go see what they have for like the bath the master bathroom what's it called sinks shower heads things like that i really 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 want to do all gold um for everything like all the faucets and knobs and handles and everything but apparently the lead time on gold fixtures or whatever are like crazy and we have already like I said have been out of the house for three months um and they start construction next week and it's supposed to take three months but they said that it might be longer like our contractor has been doing obviously a lot of houses and they all want gold and it's taking around three months and we obviously want to be moved back in around like end of April early May so I'm like kind of bummed, but also this isn't like our forever home. We're really just like fixing it up to live in it for a while. We'll really only be there for like six months, maybe a year, and then we'll probably use it as a rental. So yeah, I debated like bringing you with me when I go to all these like places, but it's been like really crazy. And I'm like with my boyfriend and the contractor and my boyfriend's mom, because she's helping us. And it's like not like, it's like not a stress-free environment for me to like be vlogging. It's literally just like hours at different tile and marble stores picking out marble and tile. <laughs> and I've literally changed my mind like eight times already. It's like kind of fun, but it's also like I'm so indecisive that it makes it very difficult because I'm like, what if I hate it? Or like, what if I like this today? But like, or what if, what is it gonna look like when it all comes together? It's like you really just don't know. All right, I'm about to pull up. Thanks. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. I still haven't tinted my windows and I've had my car for like a year, so that's like a problem because everyone can just see me. Anyways. Okay, hi, I didn't actually end up vlogging the rest of the day. It was just kind of crazy. We ended up just going to dinner with my boyfriend's sister and her husband and their kids and my boyfriend's mom. We just got back and I put my Kim's pajamas on. Um, I'm about to wash my face, but I did get a package from Nasty Gal and I don't even remember what I got, so my hair. So I'll probably just try it on tomorrow and I guess I'll just continue this vlog tomorrow since I didn't really 
show too much today, but I wanted to say good night. So, see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Um, there's football on right now. My boyfriend's on the phone outside, so I hope you can't hear. Um, I just wanted to say good morning. I it's actually really late. My boyfriend slept in because he was up all night doing NFT stuff. Um, and I probably won't be vlogging for the next like a few hours. So I was gonna say a few days. Um, I really want to do my nasty gal try on because they sent me stuff. I still have no idea what it was because I don't remember what I asked them to send. <laughs> so um, I'll probably show you guys probably later tonight. We have to go down to our condo to pack because the movers come on Tuesday. He's just about to get ready and then we're gonna go get Starbucks and then head down there. I'll probably end up vlogging a few more days this week just because I don't think I've got any content really at all for you guys. We're really just moving and packing and it's not super exciting so that's why I haven't really been vlogging because that's what I've been doing every single day for the last like two weeks. I do want to go to Bottega because I really want to try on the boots, the tire boots because I've never tried them on and I think I want them. And yeah, see you guys later. I still have not opened this package from Nasty Gal. My dog did attack the package, but I don't think anything was physically harmed on the inside. I will try it all on, hopefully. So the first thing I got is this oversized high shine. I don't know what that says. It's a little rubbed off, but it's like a puffer vest. This size, it's a US four, but it's super oversized. I wonder if it cinches or anything. Um, oh, it does. It has the little cinch on the waist, but it's brown. I feel like that'd be cute with like a white long sleeve under it. I'll have all the links to the products down below. Um, Nasty Gal did send these to me. Next, I got a pair of sweatpants. I have a really hard time finding sweatpants because I have a really short torso. So if it's like too high waisted, it ends up like coming up to like my boobs and it's like not a cute look, but then I don't want them super short. So it's really hard, but these look like they might be perfect, we will see. Oh, I do remember this. I'm really excited about this. This is a, like an oversized jumper, got a size medium, Chicago wash graphic sweatshirt. So it says Chicago on it, it's green. It looks kind of blue, um, but it's just like super big and cozy. It's like, feels really good. Like it feels like vintage where it's been like washed a lot. So I'm excited to have that. Gotta wrap Chicago. Oh my God, I did buy a beret. I don't really. I don't know why. I don't know, I don't have one and I just kind of like wanted one. So I got it. And the last thing, oh yeah, I did love this. This is just like a black zip up, which like you can never go wrong with and you can never have too many in my opinion. But I just liked the, um, like the font and everything and the size and the placement of it. But I think this is actually the softest black hoodie slash zip up I've ever felt in my life. This material is like so, cushiony and like soft i'm actually obsessed i think i'm gonna wear this today okay you just saw me try this stuff on i wanted to wear my little zip up but i'm going to my mom's right now and i'm gonna get dog hair all over me so i just was like let me just put this back on um this is actually like my favorite like article of clothing and it's my boyfriend's that he's had forever and i i honestly wear it like almost every day see you guys in a little bit hi guys i'm with my sister we just went to air one and got sorry <laughs> um we got these which i'm addicted to them and i've now i've gotten zara addicted to them and i thought they were like 5.99 and i just found out they're eight dollars and they disappear in like less than five minutes but we got our ju juices green juice for life um, now we're going back to my mom's and then we're gonna go to dinner. Well, the lighting's not that great. I'm like a giraffe right now, Victoria. Yeah, okay, bye. Bye. See you later. Hey guys, um, I took a few days off of the whole vlog. My birthday was actually yesterday, turned 24. Um, so the last few days, every night has been like, or every day and night has been like, busy with family or friends so I just kind of didn't 
want to vlog I was just very like wanted to be very chill but I just got some new shoes and I wanted to show you guys and also rant a little bit about Amina Mwadi sizing because I'm very disappointed to say the least okay my birthday was yesterday part of my birthday gift for my mom were two pairs of Amina Mwadi's which sounds amazing right so the first pair were these I don't know what they're called I know they're I think like the Bigum slingbacks um and they're like this really fun um colorful like it changes colors and it has like the big crystal and it has like the flared heel so I realized I think all of my Amina Mwadi's I actually don't have a pair that has like her staple iconic heel I did it was my first pair and I returned them because they didn't fit but my mom got these for me in a 37 and a half and unfortunately they are like barely too small like they fit my foot but I just they're tight so I think I'm gonna ask her to exchange those but what really is upsetting to me is that this pair also doesn't fit me so this is the Ursina pump crystal whatever pump I have been so obsessed with this particular shoe this color everything as soon like as long as I've seen it so I found these I like literally scoured the internet I looked everywhere and I found them on Net-a-Porter and Bergdorf's and they have them in an eight and a half and this was like several months ago when the only Amina Mwadi's I had were in a 38 and a half and both of those were 38 and a halfs were they both 30 yeah both 38 and a halfs they both fit so i ordered a 38 and a half it was so big i think i mentioned this in my uh like most recent haul so then i couldn't find them in any other size i was really sad about it but still every day i check to try to find these in my size then in my last haul you saw that i got this style but in like the yellow pink silky satin material and those I got from Ford in a 37 and a half and a 38 because I was like, I need to figure out what size I am. I had the 37 and a half or like those were the ones I kept because they fit perfectly. I wore them last night, love them. So my mom got these for me in a 37 and a half also. And I tried them on last night because I was like, I got my shoes, they're in my size. I don't know how she managed to find them. And they are still too big. I'm so pissed you have no idea so the fact that I would technically be a 37 in this shoe but then like three of my other Amina Mwadi's are 38 and a half just doesn't sit well with me because like what's going on so somehow I'm a 38 in these and a 37 in these so a full size difference in these but then in my other shoe that is exactly this style but a different color I'm a 37 and a half and then my other ones with the open back, I'm a 38 and a half. So I literally don't know what to do because now I feel like I can never order any Amina Mwadi shoe ever again online because even if it's the same style, if it's in a different color, it might fit me totally different. If any of you have had this issue, please let me know because I haven't heard anyone talk about this. Like maybe some styles, some people will say half sizes, but for me to be jumping like a full size and a half, within her brand just <laughs> is so frustrating because like I'm gonna have to order four sizes if I like a shoe and just hope one of them fits so I'm really upset about it I don't know what to do because my mom said her girl who got these is able to get these in my size but these ones are just gone with the wind there's literally none available anywhere so I'm like do I just keep them even though they're too big so that was my rant about Amina Mwadi. I still love her, even though she pisses me off because like, please figure this out. Like why are all your shoes so all over the place with sizing? Then I just got this package. Oh my God, my little wings look so short. <laughs> um, from Marnie, I wanted to show you guys because I can't decide if I like, like them enough to keep them or not. Um, but these are a pair of Marnie slides, mules, whatever you want to call them. The furry ones, you might hate them, that's fine. I've wanted these for so 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 long but I just like could never justify it because I was like am I gonna look like a troll like a literal troll wearing these um but then I've seen more people like wear them and I'm like it doesn't look that bad like I kind of like that 
like with baggy jeans or like as an airport shoe. <laughs> I don't know. They're these, I know. Like if you get it, you get it. If you don't, it's fine. I'm not asking you to try to understand it. Um, but the smallest size they had was a 39. Um, so I don't really know if it'll fit. Honestly, the color of this is just like everything to me. I think it's like almost the exact color as my Birkin. I just think it's like kind of fun and kind of just like a I don't give a fuck shoe. So I don't know if that'll fit. I'm gonna like go show my boyfriend and he's gonna be like, what the fuck is that? So they're a little bit roomy for sure. Like if I could go down a size, I would have, but they just didn't have that option available for me. So, but I feel like it's kind of just like also just like a relaxed fit shoe anyways. I'll go try it on in like a sec. Um, but also I probably could wear them with like really thick fuzzy socks or something if in like sweats if I was like on a plane or something because it's easy to get them um, on and off. But I just like kind of was like looking for something casual like this but closed toed because I have so many open toe slides like my Yeezy slides. I have some like other kind of like furry ones and like all my Hermes and Dior slides but sometimes like I don't want my toes exposed even though they're always done, I always have a pedicure. Sometimes it's just like, you know, or if I wanna wear socks. Okay, so let's go try these on. Okay, if I said I was in love, I would definitely be lying to you. Um, I just like don't really know how I feel. Also, I'm like super bloated and stuff from all of the alcohol I've been drinking and the food every night, but um, I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know if I'm cool enough to pull these off. That's the real thing. Yeah, I don't know about these. This might just have to be chucked up as a loss because I feel like they make me look extremely short. Me and my painter outfit. You let me know, but I think I'm gonna return these because like, I don't look very good. I guess those are no-go. That was not the most stunning shoe I've ever seen, which I knew it's not supposed to be stunning, but I thought it would be like cool and like a vibe, but on me, I don't think it is. So I guess I'll just end this vlog here because I really have no idea how much footage I have. And um, I don't want this video to be like super long. I just kind of wanted to see if I could vlog a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys these. I will probably see you guys soon. I'll try to film something this week. Um, but yeah, love you guys. Bye.